Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to take a very difficult cluttered background, whether it's in bright sunlight or in indoors in a very cluttered location, and turn it into a very dramatic portrait studio anywhere, anytime. This right here is available light, and this is an example of what I'm going to show you, how you control your light using speed lights and Gary Fong flash modifiers. So let's start with the basics of lighting. When you're indoors and you put a flash on the camera, this is what your shots look like. It's probably very familiar to you. And the reason why they look like that is because it's on camera flash. Some people would then bounce off the ceiling and this is what you get. A light that is very, very broad off the ceiling, but the face is cast in shadow. Using the Gary Fong light sphere, light bounces off the ceiling and yet is also filling in the lighting on your subject so that your subject is not in shadow and the light sphere sends light completely around the room omnidirectionally in a 360 degree pattern. When you take the flash off camera with the Gary Fong light sphere collapsible snoots, you're able to create an effect like this, a very, very dramatic spotlight looking effect because the Gary Fong lights for collapsible snoot only allows light to come through in a small circle. By adding a second flash and another Gary Fong light sphere collapsible snoot loaded up with either our color gels or our color domes, you're able to get an effect like this. And so I'll basically show you how this works. I'm trying to find the, the most ugly place that we could possibly shoot and turn it into a studio. So as you can see where Carrie's standing, she's standing in front of basically a shed with a bunch of stuff in it, right? And this is not where you would really want to do a portrait. So. I'm going to do the first shot in available light, so I'll turn my flash off and in just regular program mode, and I'll show you what this looks like. Actually, the lighting in here is really pretty if it wasn't so cluttered in the background. And so that's my available light shot. Now, and what I have is I've got up on top, I have one remote wireless that is, they're both on the same channel, they're both on TTL, equal amount of light coming out of that. This guy is a master controller only, but the one in the rear, I've actually put one of my red gels. So they both have the Gary Fong collapsible snoots, one does not have a red gel. And so we'll just go ahead here, and I'm going to put it on manual again, so that I can make it do the things I want. What I want to do is I want to wipe out that background. So I've got on F1.8, and I have it on one four hundredth of a second right now. And that's what we get. It's a complete dramatic difference. Now look at the difference between all the stuff in the background and when, when I shoot like that. Okay, now that that's done, let me show you on camera flash. So I'm just gonna take this guy, put the mode on TTL. So basically what's happened now is I'm going to go to the camera and I'm going to make the flash mode right here. We're going to go to the best one we can for indoors, which is the slow sync mode. And I've got the camera on camera flash and we're going to aim and... Okay, so that's on camera flash and you can see that it's very kind of harsh and two-dimensional. So we'll just do one regular bounce and... Okay, so that's bounce, and you see what happens with bounce is that it puts a shadows right into the eyes because there's no fill. And with a light sphere, what we're able to do is do a combination ratio of fill and bounce off to the ceiling. Now, as you can see up high here, we're in a very, very high ceiling, so oftentimes people go, well, is it not just a bounce light? Will it work without ceilings or in a low ceiling? It works great in a low ceiling, so, or in a high ceiling. Okay, so now we have the light sphere on, and this is flash fill with the light sphere. I'll do it one more time so you can see the difference. And that's actually quite pretty light, except for the background. So, in short, when we have a really nasty looking background, the reason that is is because you can see the stuff in the background because the available light is showing it. When we control it with speed lights, with speed lights we're able to completely turn the background black. And once the background's black, we've subtracted all the available light. Now we can add light of our own choosing. That's what I'm doing here. One light up high, one light with a red gel in the back, 
And I've basically uh, created, with the little railing on the fence, I've created a graphic background. And there you have it, complete difference. Uh, uh, subtracting the light until it goes completely dark, and then we add new light. Okay?